P.J. Washington, who's had a really good preseason, Cody Zeller, Dwayne Bacon, and Terry Rozier, the prime outside, John ja Morant, Jaron Jackson Jr. in the middle, Brandon Clark, and Jay. First two, two opponents, one or two guys may be at NBA level. See how the Grizzlies react in this game. And actually, you can scout these guys. Grayson Allen gets it to roll in. It makes it so it's an intriguing pickup in Grayson Allen is that he is a guy that can make threes and gives you perimeter shooting. Rozier, we know, can create score. That Popovich coaching tree. Shot clock down to eight for Grayson Allen. Turns down the screen. Brandon Clark elevates and hits through to what they want to get done on the offensive end. And now playing against NBA caliber, will they continue with that spacing? Bingo! Jaron Jackson wants to continue to have as a level of toughness on the floor. He's a catalyst for it. Brandon rises, fires, and fills it up. And the rebound to Bridges. Good look to Washington, who slaloms and pitches it out. Rozier off the double swing, knocks down the three. Where it goes along, but you can see him being a stat filler on a nightly basis. And you saw his hops there. Corner three on the way and bottoming it out. Good for this Hornets team. Can he pick up and get things going at the beginning of this season? Jake Crowder misfires from three. Bridges wheels inside and scores. Kimba having the ball in his hands. This season, multiple guys will have to be able to make plays for this team. Marvin Williams flips it up and in, and it's okay. He's played really well here in the preseason, averaging 11 a game. Jay Crowder, an uncovered three. Puts it in. Shot clock down to 10. Bridges floats it up and in. A little too hot. Monk backstops it now with four remaining here in the first. Monk scoops it up and in. That's a great point. They had 51 in the first two preseason games, but the problem is they're not getting the rebounds. It's 11-5 right now in favor of Charlotte. And Washington. The pace, you can't forget about the basketball that allows you to play at the pace that they want to be at. Plumley, Marvin Williams with the knock. Washington boards, and here comes Charlotte. Monk, deep. Malik Monk for three, and Williams the rebound to the Grizzlies. Not doing a good job on the glass. They're being out rebounded 15 to 7. Rozier with the second chance make. Arkin is rebounded by Brandon Clark. Morant got by Rozier, explodes to the rim. Sets up DB for three and it's three. Good mindset. See if he's able to get back to that defensive minded player with the ability to knock down shots. Rozier with the pull up. From a viewer's perspective, thinks he's out of control, is right in his wheelhouse. Rozier with a double off, Biombo with the slam. Brandon Clark boards the Rozier, missed three. Look at Morant, turn on the Jets to the cup, plays it in and draws the foul. We have too many instances with the offensive player, nice drop back. Oh, Clark over the top. Once we talk about getting out and running, so many guys, maybe their best finisher above the rim. Well, you talk about shout out Canada, here's Zeller for three, puts it in. Then they run hard to the middle and then they flare to the corners. There's no post up really position as Graham knocks down that three. The ball movement and body movement is what their offense will be predicated on. Crowder for three. Bang up. It's fake. There's no specific position even with the five out. You can see bigs up high, guards down low, or vice versa. Graham, another three made again. Graham. Jones tried to keep it alive. Zeller the rebound. Quarter three goes down for Bacon. Coming into the game, the Hornets are shooting 29.5% from the three point line. Grab with the finish. Good setup from distance. A year ago, Grizzlies were 25th in the league, shooting 34%. Graham gets the kind bounce. Hey, against an NBA team, transition has been their friend. They had to figure out ways to still play in transition and get easy shot opportunities. Ivan Rav, nifty move. Monk. Graham drives on Goodrich and Brandon Clark. First victory of the preseason and a steal, Rozier. Rebound, Marvin Williams will stand by for Charlotte. Monk on the slalom, puts it in. An acrobatic finish over. And Bacon picks up the loose ball. Bacon, the Euro step, and the finger roll finish. 
Grizzlies defense has surrendered 58 first half points. That will count. Gooderich. Jaron with a rebound. Jackson just one of four foul problems. Crowder, sidestep, triple try, puts it in. Bacon against Morant. Tough shot. Missing the three. Brandon Clark reels in his 12th rebound. 12 and 12. Morant explodes to the cup and finishes. Timeout. Over the summer, he said he's targeting opening night next week in Miami. Bacon double draws the foul as well as they started. Morant, Clark, what an acrobatic move. Continuing that point of education. Bacon, a step back three, laces it. There's no bacon. Kyle's shooting motion much smoother than it was a year ago. And on cue, Jaron Jackson, Michigan State teammates. Moran will show and go and a finish in the foul. Oh, that was gorgeous. Now we're going to get the Reasons within three. Charlotte has led it by as many as 14. Graham, who had the big second quarter, finds Washington for the dunk. I grab in for Memphis. Moran, look at the speed and the finish. Oh, my. With the ball in his hands off the dribble with these little pull up short jump shots. Aaron Gomez with the pump fake and the dish to an open Graham for three. Grant Guterich with seven to shoot. Marco a step back three blocked by Monk. And now Jones trailing. Brooks for three. Bango. Dylan Brooks. This is Rozier doing the step curry with the mouthpiece. And Dylan trying to defend. And that flip ball. DB's got an open three. Bango! Dylan Brooks to Marvin Williams. Williams in his 15th season out of North Carolina. Rozier. It's a three. It the corners are so comfortable here in this game. Their guards are playing so well. They're playing Graham and Rozier together in the backcourt. Grayson Allen lifts it up and in three. Jay just three of nine from distance tonight. Monk pulls the trigger and drops it in. Sets it up for Graham. Bridges wheels through the lane and hooks it in. Let's look at the defender. Now it's first responsibility. Check the offensive player's feet. As it is. On the offensive end. Yeah, they have been fantastic tonight. Kobe Simmons, the former Grizzly in the game. Kyle Anderson. Now there's better. The only difference between the two at this point. Aaron Ed Gomez misses, gets it back, and finally taps it home. Kobe Simmons. We've worked most of my life since middle school, so being able to play with number 12 in the NBA is great. You have no problem going to number 18. Does although Rui Hachimura, his jersey with the Wizards will be a big seller. Dusty Hanna's got the last bucket for the Grizzlies and Billy Hanna, the hustle last year, did appear in a couple of games with the Grizzlies out of Little Rock, Arkansas. And Dusty gets bucket. Dang. <laughs> then we go out on the floor and he's out there shooting around with a Grizzlies uniform on. Long range. Missed. Grab with a no look. Plumley attacks. Misses. Corey Ventura Harlan, our stage fan edition, will continue on Wednesday night. And we hope that you will join us for the telecast. Fans want Dusty Hannes to shoot it. He will not. And your final is 120 to 99. Charlotte with the dominant victory leading by his.